Welcome back to the Gary Sutton Show, hour number two here on WSBA on a uh, Tuesday morning. Um, and a lot happening around the world. But, you know, there's a lot happening in the local area, too. And I like to keep my eyes on what's going on in the local area. And I've got a lot of good people doing a lot of good things. And one of them is here today after a pretty tough bout herself with uh, some sickness. And we're talking about C.J. Huffman, uh, York County Feed the Vet. She and her daughter are here today. And uh, so glad they could visit in the studio. I wanted to see them anyway. And so, C.J., nice to see you up and around. Uh, you said you lost the weight. This is not the way you want to do it, kid. Okay? <laughs> it feels good, though, Gary. And we were glad to see you. And, and while I'm on it, I want to thank you for... Coming out there Christmas Day and helping us serve Christmas dinner, everybody loved you. That was so nice of you and your wife to come out there, and we had a good time. Well, we we, we were the ones that had the great time. I mean, uh, for heaven's sakes, we got man. to meet so many neat people that yeah, day. Yeah, we did. It was awesome. I, I never saw so them. much food in my life in one place. <laughs> it was just incredible, and I know that I know none of it went to waste. It went out and <laughs> no, it did. When you were all done with yeah. that, went out and got to other people as well. Yep, it did. We got that food out, and and we ended up actually taking the dessert and oranges. Some went to Altoona VA. Some went to the nursing homes around here. So it, it didn't go to waste, believe me. And some of it went in our bellies. So, you know. <laughs> A little bit of that. <laughs> exactly. CJ, you know, for people that weren't around during that time and heard us uh, visit with you the first time, talk a little bit about how Feed the Vets got started, because I think that's one of those causes, one of those things that sometimes goes underneath the radar, and we can't afford to let that happen. You know, anything we can do for our vets, we need to be able to do. So tell us a little bit about how you got that started. Okay, local Feed the Vets. Actually, uh, my husband was a Vietnam vet, and he got killed after he got home from Vietnam. And my daughter and I decided we wanted to start some kind of an organization where the money's going to stay right here in York County because York County has over 105 uh, homeless vets. Right. Uh, many live under the bridge, and and they need things. They need medicine. They need food. They need clothes. Uh, Anything we can supply. So we started up this organization, and uh, I have to say right now we probably got close to 20 members, and um, we go out, we do things, we raise money, and uh, we I speak. We Any place that wants me to come in and speak, I make awareness of what we're doing. Um, anything that they need help paying prescriptions, uh, uh, setting them up in, in housing. We just set a guy up last week in housing. Um, the food, we don't pound them with groceries or give them gift cards we give them gas cards we take them to the va when they need it and be their family and until it's time for them to come home and uh, pretty much anything we can do here in york county with a vet we help them out now you and kelly really have been working very very hard on this and i know every time you you see helping a veteran i think you probably see your husband somewhere in that uh, picture don't you yes all the time that and a million other vets when when i see i met a vet uh we were feeding the homeless one night, and I met a vet uh, come from under the bridge that's been there since the Vietnam War. And uh, it was like just an honor to sit there and talk to him, but at the same time, my heart went out because oh my goodness. it's like, my gosh, that's a lot of years to live under the bridge, but that's his home. CJ, so, let me ask you a question, and I've asked this of Sandy Walker before, and of course we just lost Sandy Walker mm -hmm. recently, who was, exactly. I know you were in, in concert with, and, and you and your mm -hmm. daughter Kelly both helped here uh, during the time of, of his funeral, because there were some things that, yes. you know, we need to pay attention to, but... Yeah. I think I asked him that. I'm going to ask you now. How do veterans get to this point when they get home? How are we? How are they going through the cracks, so to speak? I mean, I, it just seems like they somehow just, there's too much of this. There's like the Vietnam War. You know, these guys come home from Vietnam. Their families didn't want anything to do with them. They're baby killers. They didn't want them to come home. Where they go, they went under the bridge. Um, other ones. They, they get out of the military, they're dropped off, you know, they're used to being over there fighting war, they come back here, they don't know what to do, they they don't know where to go, they don't know, they get into drugs, they get into alcohol, yeah. and, and that's their life, and it, and it's it's left go, it's left go, so if, if somebody doesn't, you know, get out there and help them, that's how they're going to live their life, uh, like I said, they live under the bridge, two of them last year froze to death, um, they'll... It's just it, it's just we all got to get together and and do something about this and try right. especially York County you know we're working on trying to get this shelter open and um it's uh, the roof's ready to go on they raise the money for the roof once they get the roof on then we can get in there and get the drywall and all that stuff done and 
once we get that done, Feed the Vets can go in there and we can get the sheets and the blankets and the food and everything in there. So it'll be a drop-in shelter. It'll have showers and washer and dryer and everything once it's once it's set up, ready to go. Tell me more about the shelter, its location, uh, and what maybe people could do to help you on that. Okay, the shelter is at 412, I guess it is... Um, King Street, I think, yeah, King Street is what it is. And um, anything which you can do with that is it's um, donations, 46 Pershing Avenue, I think it is. It's Helping Hands, and uh, they're the ones that are taking care of that part of the shelter, Veterans right. Helping Hands, and on on uh, Pershing Avenue. And uh, any checks or, or, you know, anything you want to help out with them, you mail it in there to them, and and. They're doing that part. Um, local Feed the Vets, we're the ones who come in later and uh, do the food and the blankets right. and the things like that. So, um, you know, it's 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 coming along slow. But, in fact, I think they're actually going to, what's cool is they're going to change the name of it. I think they're going to call it the Sandy Walker Drop-In Shelter oh, now good. and name it after him. Good. Yeah, because Sandy so, did so much over the years. Mm-hmm. and. Uh, but, it, yeah, but it's good did. that you're working together, I mean, between organizations oh, yeah, to get yeah. this done. We, and this would basically be a drop-in type of place, but you could also yeah. stay over, is that correct? Yes, yes, and has, it's going to have showers, washer, dryers, places to sleep, uh, food, uh, whatever they're going to set. I think they said they had two doctors going to volunteer to wow. go in there and, and do, you know, whatever they can to help these guys. And, and uh, that's... That's what it's all about. It's all about all of us working together, you know, not only just us, but legions and, and VFWs. And, and um, um, one of the things today I wanted to bring to mind, uh, you all know about Matt Haynes, yes. uh, the Matt Haynes ride. Well, Saturday, April the 18th, and, and mark this on your calendar because this is really important. It's the third annual Matt Haynes ride, and um, it's going to be sponsored by the Warrior Brotherhood and the Shy. American Legion Riders, and um, the thing I love about this is Matt Haynes is all the money raised, he's paying forward, he's not keeping any of it. All the money that's raised from this thing is going to another vet that needs help. Wow. He feels that he's made enough, you know, that he's been taken care of, and that uh, it's time for him to move on and, and start helping another vet. And um, they're going to sign up at Goofy's Eatery in Spring Grove. It's going to end at the Shiloh Legion. It's open to the public. And another really cool thing about this is um, if you don't ride, you can get in. The wristbands are $10. But they have – there's three bands. It's Close Call, uh, Missing Time, and I don't know – you probably heard of them, Gary. They're all over the TV. They're on the Internet. They're everywhere. There's a band called Madison Rising. And they're made of military, and they do the patriotic songs, kind of yeah. like a rock and roll. Yep. They are going to be there. They're flying wow. in. Uh, they're going to do a 90-minute show, and then I think they're headed back to Texas. And um, local Feed the Vets will be set up there because we'll be selling tickets for our big uh, Vet Fest concert coming up in uh, 2015. So if you're not doing anything, get out. They're going to have food. They're going to have raffles. Um some really nice people, but the thing about it is all the money he's paying forward. And I just think that's pretty cool, Matt, to well, do that, you know. He's an exceptional to, young man. Yeah, and to pay it forward to another vet, you know. and st- I mean, he could sit there and just keep taking and taking, and you know, which some have. But yeah. he's paying it back, and, and I just think that's kind of cool that, that he's doing that. And um, like I said, the riders, the Warrior Brotherhood, they're putting this thing together, and uh, they've asked us to come in and set up, which I was real tickled, you know. And Is and there a number to call for information and, on that? Yeah, and I'll give you my, it's uh, it's 717-781-7666. Now, that's my, that's our Feed the Vets number, so anytime, they, if they want any information, they can call me, and I'll direct them into the right person uh, to call, you know, to get information on this thing. Um we're going to be setting up that day because, of course, you know, June 13th, we have our big Vet Fest concert coming up. And um, that's the one we did last year. And this we had Kiss Alive there last year. Well, this year it's going to be really cool because we've got 12 bands this year. Kiss Alive New York City is coming back. And um, Smoking Guns is going to be our other headliner this year. And on top of that, we've got... 
uh, the York County Veterans Honor Guard is going to be there. Our national anthem, Pastor Tom from the Iron Horse Biker Church. Um, the bands are amazing because I knew back in my day. Now we're talking. There was a band called Sky Brothers, and I don't. I think I'm older than you, Gary, so you probably don't remember. That. You're not. You're not that much older than I am. But yeah. Well, there was a band. They were called the Sky Brothers, and right. I, when I was 21, I used to follow them around all the time. Well, I found them. They're called the Carl Young Band now. Okay. So we decided when we set this thing up. We're going to set it up so that it's a Jenner, like like the, the first band's trilogy, and that's a bunch of high school kids from Spring Grove, and they, they're they awesome. They put together this band, and, and they just, I mean, these kids are awesome. And so they're coming, and then we have a Six Whiskey Revival. We have the Carl Young Band. We have Thing 3, Dog Pound, Tanner Mountain Band, Kodiak. Dirty Devil Trio, Lynchpin, and Single Barrel. And each one of these bands do a different thing, and they're all donating their time. Wow. Every one of them. And again, the, the proceeds are going to go to? All the proceeds are going to local Feed the Vets because we use the money we make in the summer to help us. We have air conditions that we buy. We have fans because we have so many older vets that are sitting in 100-degree temperatures in yeah. rooms that don't have anything, you know, and... and, and uh, like I said, we get in there and we find out, and we have our number on the back of our car now, so more people are noticing it, and they're calling us, and it's, well, I know this man that needs this, or I know this man that needs that, you know, and uh, in fact, when I was in the hospital for the 26 days, my poor daughter was running, um, she was getting calls right and left of people that needed things, you know, and she was out there on her own doing this, and, and uh, so this concert that we do... Um, it, it helps us raise, because it's an all-day thing. The gates open at 9.30. You can bring your, your um, cooler in. We have food vendors, crafters. Bring your blankets, because it gets cold at night. And, and Kiss Alive does the pyroglyphics, or what do you call it, the fire thing in the smoke. They do their big show, okay. smoke, smoke and guns. Like I said, it's an all-day thing. The kids have a ball last year. Um Kiss Alive took the kids for rides on motorcycles in circles, and <laughs> these kids just went nuts over them. So it's it's like two really great things happening this year. Uh, like I said, this thing on April 18th for Matt Haynes' ride, the Vet Fest concert coming up, and uh, we're, we're working on more ideas because there's so much we want to do next year that, you know, we want to get these guys out from under this right. bridge somehow and, and get them in a place, you know. Um, and, and when you say under the bridge, some of them aren't necessarily living under the bridge, but but the whole idea that you're mm -hmm. you're living someplace, you're not, you know, it's exactly. not up to the standards that we, ought, yep, that we yep. owe these people. Exactly. Um, and, and that's at 1005 Lombard Street in Redline. Is that the Old Spring Valley Pool area? Is, am yes, I, is, it is. Is that it's where that is? It's the Old Spring Valley Pool, and that's where we have it. That's yeah. donated to us. And, uh we go in there and we set it up and uh, we're there all day and, and we just have a ball. And, and like I said, it's all, last year we had 577 people and 189 of them were veterans Good. that supported it. I want to come back and talk more about that with you and, and veterans can get out there, obviously. Yep, we'll, we'll tell exactly. you more about that. C.J. Huffman with me this morning, head of Feed the Vets along with their daughter Kelly. And we're going to talk more about the uh, Vet Fest concert 2015 and what you could do to help vets here in York County. It's year two on that. You can call first. First of all, 717-781-7666. That's CJ's number. We'll tell you more about the cost, what's going on there, and a whole lot of other things you can do to help veterans here in York County other than just say thank you. I'm Gary Sutton. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Gary Sutton Show. Uh, CJ Huffman, her daughter Kelly, here with us this morning. And uh, glad to have them in. And they're head of Feed the Vets. They started a very worthy, worthy, worthy group here, believe me. And I've seen them in action. And I've seen the people who are part of their organization in action. And they are doing great work for a group of people that sometimes are forgotten here in York County. And, you know, for as much as we say to veterans, thank you, um, there's there's other ways of saying thank you beyond that. Uh, there's more we can do. And one of the things you can do is to attend... Uh, 
the big uh, cycle benefit for Matt Haynes. He's helping another veteran, by the way, mm-hmm. with the money that's raised. On the 18th, it's going to start out at Goofy's right there on the road out to Spring Grove. Yep. Uh, big ride. That was the future, third year for that, right? Yes, And I remember year. it's been huge. Yeah. It's been huge. Huge. Uh, and they stop a couple different places along the way. Do they, yep. do they end up down here at the Lancaster Red Rose still, or is that a different? No, they're ending up at the Shiloh American Legion Shiloh this year. Shiloh American Legion yep. this year. Mm-hmm. And then the other one is the Vets Fest con- uh, concert on 2015, uh, Saturday, June 13th. That's going to be out at 1005 Lombard Street in Red Lion. For a lot of you that might remember that as the old Spring Valley uh, pool. And uh, they'll be right there on the grounds that day. And that starts at 9.30, the gates open, and 10 a.m. to midnight. I mean, that is an all-day event. you got Kiss Alive, New York City, Smoking Guns. Uh, you got Trilogy, Six Whiskey Revival, Carl Young Band. I mean, they're all going to be there that day. It's going to be a great time. And most importantly, you are going to be helping uh, the vets that day. You're going to be raising money. $15 per person, kids 6 years to 12 years old, uh, $7. Under 5, get in free. And they do have security on the grounds that day. But 717-781-7666, you can give CJ a call at that number, 781-7666. And uh, find out more information about this, but it is uh, just a wonderful event. And again, you're helping not just to raise money for food, but also for taking care of a lot of the conveniences that that some veterans just don't have. And and it's hard. I think it's hard for a lot of people really to get their minds around the idea that there are people in your county and specifically our veterans who are who are hurting right now. 105. We have 105 homeless vets. Right I had heard around 100, County. so 105. Yep. You, you've actually been able to pinpoint yep. the number. Yep. 105 of them. And you know, and, and a lot of these people, you know, one of the things that, that I found out about veterans over the years and, and talking to and dealing with and conversing with a lot of these people is that they're pretty proud people. They don't like to necessarily come yeah. for help or even ask for help many times. Exactly. Am I right on that? I don't know what it is about Kelly and I, um, personality-wise. I don't know. Maybe we were just blessed, but... But for some, some people will say, well, we tried to talk to them. They won't talk to us. And we just got a way that we can get up there and, and just joke around with them. And the next thing you know, we're sitting in their living room with them. And they're telling us everything. And, and you know, well, let us help you here. And, you know, and we keep every, all our vets, I mean, are in a private book. We keep right. everything that... Nobody knows who we're helping. I mean, we can groups and stuff, but but we keep things private, and that's what they like because they are proud. They don't want help, you know. Um, medicines, copays, something little like seven dollars and forty cents copay. They won't get their medicine because they don't have the seven forty. Yeah. So we get in there and and we get to talking, and it's like, look, you know. Just think of it, you know, it, it, it's like you're helping other vets, too. $7.40, you know, is nothing. So we'll go pick up their medicine. And it's just for some reason, and maybe we're just God bless, we have a way working with these vets. And, and uh, we're actually getting more calls now. Um, I, I just wonder if you could help me with something. Um, you know, I'm very embarrassed and that stuff. And, right. of course, Kelly and I will joke about it, and we'll go over yeah. and come on, let us in, and we'll come in, and we'll talk about different stuff and uh, kind of look around. And, and uh, do you like macaroni and cheese? Yeah. Oh, I make awesome macaroni and cheese. How about if I bring you some over? You'd do that? Well, sure we would, you know. So, And this yeah. would kind of just get in with them, and then the next thing you know, you know, we have a vet we're helping again. And, you know, and, conversation and, and, opens a yeah. lot of doors, and especially when it people does. know that you're really, it really does. listening. Yep, yep. Well, I, I always have a great time with you here, CJ, and with Kelly yep, as well, yep. and I really appreciate you coming today, and it's good to see you up and around, and you stay up yep, and around. That's I that's an order that. now, the military <laughs> style, right? But I anyway, mark that. it on your calendar. It is going to be uh, June 13th, Saturday. 10 a.m. to midnight. You can come out there for the whole day and enjoy yourself. Vet Fest yeah. Concert 2015. Bring your canopies, your coolers, your blankets. Your, you know, they're going to have food vendors there, crafters, displays, and a lot more. It's right there at the old Spring Valley uh, uh, Swimming Club over there on Lombard Avenue, 1005, 1005, Lombard Street, Red Line. Make that ground zero that day for yeah. you to come on out and enjoy a great day with Kiss Alive, New York, Smoking Guns, and so much more. 15 bucks. 15 bucks, and man, I'll tell you what, is it going to help yep. a lot of people? And all these groups coming in are doing it 
free of charge. That's incredible. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate so much of what you and Kelly and, and all the good people who are volunteering your organization are doing. And thank you so much for being with us today, CJ. Thank you, Gary, for having us. We always love coming in here. I said I'd come in every month if I could. <laughs> okay. You know how I am at talking. My mouth never stops. Well, we'll, but keep, uh, we'll keep people we'll get... <laughs> updated on this. And we want people to get out there and, uh, and be there. So and we you... enjoy it. And everybody out there, if you see a vet, give them a hug, will you? And give a call Thanks. to 781-7666, okay? Thank you. Thanks so much, CJ. We'll be back in just a moment with another story of uh, happiness here about a restaurant that was burglarized and torn apart and is about to get up and running again right down downtown York. Here on the Gary Sutton Show on News Radio 910 WSBA.